Go up to verse 25. It's really, he tells them, don't worry about tomorrow. We'll start reading there, verse 25. Right? Matthew 6, 25. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life. What you will eat or what you will drink. Stop right there. When the, when the distraction comes, the warfare comes, all of that other extra stuff comes, the first thing that we start doing... You get hungry. <laughs> Right, and we start getting anxious about our life. We start worried about, oh my God, the doctor gave an evil uh, diagnosis. Mm. You see what I'm saying? They got full attention is on that loved one or that spouse or whoever it may be. Right? But what did the scripture say? Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life. That word anxious means to fret, to worry, uh, or to have anxiety about that. Right? Mm -hmm. But what happens to most of us as believers? When a situation arises, instead of staying faith focused, right, vision focused, we shift to, oh my God, my mom is in the hospital. I need all the prayer words right here, right here, right here. Mm -hmm. Not saying that we shouldn't pray for mama, not saying that we shouldn't pray for the baby, right? Not saying that we shouldn't you know, use our faith in these areas, but they should not become so overwhelming that we forget about everything else. Right. That's a strategy of the enemy. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's just like... Oh my God, here comes another scripture. What is it that uh, Paul, I think Paul wrote about says that, that no, no soldier or army man, they, they don't get, get uh, in, in, uh, involved in the things yes. of this life. Yes. You know what I mean? Because they're in the army, they're in a the war. So they keep mm -hmm. their mind, they stay single-minded.